The most expansive, real-time, vessel tracking and monitoring organization in the world is located in Juneau, Alaska. Because the need is clear, Alaska is remote, it is wild, and it's one of the most heavily trafficked maritime regions in the world. The Marine Exchange of Alaska is really one of a kind in the world. And there's no state in the country that has more maritime influence on our economy and our well-being than Alaska. Thousands of international ships transit Alaska's waters while sailing between Pacific ports and the Far East. There's a massive fishing and cruise industry here as well. With the vastness of this place, it's easy to get into trouble. So our ongoing mission in the Ops Center is, is really focused on prevention. Preventing maritime incidents, that's our number one thing. Saving lives is the ultimate goal, but preventing maritime accidents is, is really the reason why we exist. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, maritime experts are tracking vessels' movements through the use of a universally adopted radio transceiver system called AIS. I think the easiest way to sum up what's happening in this building is equated to an air traffic control center. The staff here represent a whole suite of skill sets and over 150 years of former Coast Guard experience. If there's an anomaly with a vessel's transit in Alaskan waters, it will be noticed. And when the ship officers know that someone is always watching, it influences their behavior in ways that reduce risk. People don't realize how many vessels drive through Alaska waters. It's like the Maritime I-5. And at times, just like automobiles or any other mechanical piece of equipment, they break down. And when they break down, the impacts would be tremendous. Some of these ships are 1,100 feet long, almost four football fields long. If you took the containers off these ships, they go 50 miles in for in. We don't want that landing on our shores. And the moment they break down, we detect that, and we act upon it. We notify the Coast Guard, the owner operator, we locate tugs, we engage right away to minimize a major marine casualty impacting Alaska. The Marine Exchange of Alaska, MXAK for short, going on 20 years of service. And that's important because we have a lot to protect here. Maybe you've already heard of AIS. Vessels over 65 feet, from tankers to large commercial fishing boats, are required to be equipped with it. The technology transmits a vessel's name, type, course, speed, and exact location, but you need a system to track all that data. MXAK operates and maintains a network of over 130 AIS detector sites. Many have real-time weather sensors as well. The sites are built right here in Juneau, then transported to critical areas along the Alaska coastline. Right now we have about 139 what we call marine safety sites all over the, the state of Alaska. And so it's receiving a ship's position information every six seconds. Additionally, at these marine safety sites, many are coupled with weather sites, transmitting real-time weather, and that's very beneficial to not just large vessels, but especially recreational boaters. Anybody who wants to get out on the water can look at one of our sites, see what the real-time weather is, and make a conscious decision whether it's safe or not to go out on the water. It can be an impressive commute for the field ops crew. To service the Aleutian Islands, they must travel 1,600 miles from the office, the equivalent of Dallas to Seattle. But the crew never leaves Alaska. A lot of times they're traveling out in the field, whether it's via our landing craft that we own and they're transiting through southeast Alaska here, or if they're on a plane to fly up to Barrow. Kind of like the, the SEAL team of the Marine Exchange, they've got to be fully deployable. They're experts at what they do. So they're, they're electronic experts, they're power experts, they're AIS experts. I mean, they're really vital component to our success here. And why are these sites necessary? The sinking of the fishing vessel Alaska Juris. Using the Marine Exchange of Alaska's vessel tracking system, the Coast Guard was able to pinpoint the exact coordinates of the distressed vessel. They contacted other nearby vessels to quickly get there and assist. But the Coast Guard was able to immediately look at the screen that we provide with the vessels operating in the area. Cargo ships, they're transiting the Lucian Islands, and they said, 
would you mind helping save some lives today? And none hesitated. And it's very interesting to see these huge ships, seven, 800 feet long, divert. And the Coast Guard said, please go to this location and help save the people. In the end, 46 crew members were saved. Because the information we provided was available to them and they knew exactly where to go and what the situation was. So that's huge. I mean, in, in days of old, when I was in the Coast Guard, we didn't have that. We had to call people and, hey, how far are you away? What's the closest vessel? Now we know instantaneously and can cut through all that time and provide that right instantaneously. Only 15 years ago, the exact location of any Mayday call was unknown, as was the location of vessels nearby able to lend assistance. Times have changed. Alaska is a beautiful place filled with fragile ecosystems, and no one wants a man-made disaster. With northern routes opening up for Arctic maritime travel, the Marine Exchange will have even more responsibility than ever before. Alaska and the United States have a vested interest in safe and environmentally responsible maritime operations in the Arctic. As geography and times change, the Marine Exchange remains constant, saving lives, protecting the environment, preventing maritime disasters. The Marine Exchange of Alaska.